Hi, paper crafters, and welcome to the Blue Waters Blog Hop. And we are featuring retired products that we are so sad to see let go. So um, the products that are going to be retiring between the 2016-2017 uh, annual catalog and our beautiful occasions catalog. And these two catalogs um, expire on May 31st. However, right now with our retirement list uh, is basically first come first serve basis so make sure that you're grabbing what you want right away because things are going fast <laughs> um, they do guarantee stampin up will guarantee that the stamp sets the individual sets will be available until May 22nd but if there's anything else on this list that you want and there's over 10 pages of print this big um, make sure and grab it right away for sure. So today what I'm going to feature is a little something out of the Occasions catalog that has been one of my personal favorites. And it is the Party Animal Suite. It's been so much fun to play with. And quite honestly, when I first seen this whole suite of product, um, I wasn't real real keen on it quite honestly it was the colors the colors are very bright and I'm more of a subtle type of gal with the softer colors but the more I played with this set the more I just absolutely loved it and I'm really sad to see this go the stamp set is so much fun I love the mix of fonts that is very trendy right now and just to let you know on some of these other products here the um the thinlet set here, whoops, make sure I can get the, get this into the camera here. This right here is 50% off right now, and the designer series paper is 40% off. Um, we have the card stack party animal paper pack, whoop, there we go, and that's 20% off. The washi tape is 30% off. Um, this beautiful ribbon in the Emerald Envy. Yeah, Emerald, Emerald Envy is 40% off. And then these right here, the cute little embellishments of the party hat and the balloon are 40% off. So make sure to grab that stuff. I mean, that's a great deal, right? Okay, let's get started here. And by the way, you'll find those um, on the PDF that I will include on my blog uh, listed as well as all the products that I'm using today. So you can shop easily. So what I'm going to do today is this cute little um, gift card holder because we all anymore give gift cards, right? It's a lot easier and stress-free. This is something that always fits and everybody has a birthday. So why not? Um, super cute. I found this on Pinterest and again, I used all the products that I was just talking about in the Party Animal Suite and it's so easy to make you could whip up a whole bunch of these pretty quickly so let's go ahead and get started first of all what i'm going to do is show you some measurements so this is a piece of crushed curry cardstock and i cut it at one and a quarter by 11 and i scored it at four and a quarter six and a half eight and three quarters and ten and a half okay and I will also have the measurements on my blog which is dawn's creative chalet.com so with all these little bits and bobbles that I have here a couple things I pre-stamped and then a couple things I did not all right so what we're going to do first of all is we I've scored this piece and basically once you fold it it's going to look like this big W with a little hangover here. Okay. All right. So I folded it like such and you're going to, you're going to need a bone folder because it's always great to have a nice crisp image here. So we're going to go ahead and fold the score lines like such. And just like so. Pretty easy so far, right? So this is the um, main part of your holder. 
And then I wanted to go ahead and use the um, cardstock in this suite. So I decided instead of using all of the same pattern like I did here, I thought I would kind of mix and match it up a little bit. That'd be kind of fun to use the um, polka dots and the gifts. Kind of fun. And on the back side, those are fun too. I love our DSP because it always gives you options having two sides available to choose from. So if there's one that you don't like, you're sure to at least like the other. All right, so the first thing we're going to do, I'm going to take my Fast Fuse. I decided I grabbed both my Snail and my Fast Fuse, but I thought for some of you, I'd go ahead and show how to use this. It's a little intimidating to use at first because there's a little finesse to it. So when you roll this, you're going to want to do a check mark, and that's going to make sure that you don't have what I call a, um, okay, I'm just going to say it, a booger. <laughs> <laughs> that kind of flings after the fact and if you happen to have that happen just go ahead and gently roll till you feel it getting tacky again can you see that okay there we go and like so so what I'm gonna do before I really put this whole thing together is I need to add my designer series paper and I'm gonna add this piece here and this piece is four by two and a quarter then the smaller piece is four by one and a half so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the smaller piece down here see how it's coming together already it's gonna go ahead and it put some adhesive on that and stick it like Oh, so. All right. So the next thing that I'm going to want to do, and actually, I tell you what, you could have done it this way, where you um, went ahead and stapled first so you could hide your staples, but I think it's going to look kind of cool with the staples on it. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and just use the stapler. This, by the way, oh, is also retiring. This cute little staple gun. I like this little guy. And it's so easy to use him. Okay, so now you've just put it together. Like I said, you could always staple it first and then put the designer series paper on the top and hide the staples. Either way, I think it looks really cute. And the other pieces that you're going to need as far as Whisper White, this piece is going to be two by one, two inches by one inch. And then this little itty bitty piece here, I keep missing the camera, sorry guys. Um, this is one and three quarters by one and a half. And this is going to have the happy birthday saying on it. So we'll go ahead and we'll stamp those. And I chose to use the Emerald Envy ink pad. What I also did grab off of my stamp table is our piercing mat. Um, I have found, and Stampin' Up! has suggested as well, that when we use photopolymer stamps, which are see-through stamps, uh, that we use something cushy underneath it because we do not have the, um, the padding or the, the cushion like we do on the red rubber. So this helps to give a nice, crisp image. So I'm going to take these two little pieces here. And I also am covering my piercing mat with some copy paper because... Look how grungy. <laughs> Mine has gotten really grungy. I've gotten lots of ink on it and stuff. It has seen a lot of love. So we're going to go ahead and stamp the Open Me Already sentiment. Isn't that cute? And then I have the small happy birthday from that set. And we're going to stamp that on this small white piece here. And again, this is one and three quarters by one and a half. Make sure I can do this without messing up. Otherwise, I think I, yeah, I stamped one just in case. There we go. All right, well, yeah, I messed up slightly. So <laughs> you get the idea. So I'm gonna go ahead and take 
this one that I stamped earlier. I'm going to cheat a little bit. Don't tell anybody. It's our secret. Now, the other thing, um, I did already stamp the balloon in the same color. So I just used some scrap paper. And I'm going to go ahead and take the balloon punch. And punch this guy right out. I am a very lazy stamper. And... I honestly don't like to cut too much because I'm a crooked cutter as well. So my punches are my loves. All right. So we have the balloon and we have our sentiments ready to go. Now the other thing I'm going to do, see this little flap here? I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to glue that down as well. And just put a little bit of fast fuse there and stick that down just like that. And then what I'm going to do is um, dimensionals. How many of you are hooked on these like me? I love dimensionals. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is put a couple dimensionals on the back of the Open Me Already piece. And we will stick that down over in the right corner towards the top. Kind of cute. And we're also going to do this with a balloon as well. I like things with a little bit of dimension on it. It just is um, a little more eye appealing. I'm gonna go ahead and stick that up there like so. So it pops even up over a little bit. I think that'd be kind of fun. And then I wanna go ahead and I'm just gonna go ahead and take some fast views and we will stick the sentiment right there like so. Now what I've also done is I've taken some of the thick whisper white twine. I love our thick twine. I, I for me it's a lot easier to um, play with and tie bows with because I have fake nails. <laughs> so for me it's just a great thing. Now I forgot my um, my glue dots so I'm going to go ahead and just use a touch of snail and I made a bow. I cut about 10 inches of the thick whisper white twine but you could probably get away with a little bit less. I just have fat fumble fingers so I cut a little extra and then just trim it down and stick it on your balloon so it looks kind of fun and festive like it's going to fly away and all you need is a gift card and stick it in there like so and there you have a super easy, super quick card holder for birthdays coming up using the Party Animal Suite that is retiring. If you have any questions, just zip me a, um, a message and I will get back with you. I'll again have all the dimensions on my blog at dawnscreativechalet.com. Thanks again for joining the Blue Water Bloggers and our retirement list blog hop. Have a great day and happy creating. Bye-bye.